Yo, what up guys? Also, you're back with another trade-up video. So, in this video, I'll be showing you guys the best trade-ups under $1 in 2020 and one bonus one at the end, so make sure to stay tuned. So, before we start with the video, congratulations to Flo for winning the AWP Atheris giveaway. So, just follow the directions in the screen to claim your prize. Also, I will be giving away this 0.17 float M4A for Griffin in my next few videos, so check out the pinned comment down below if you want to enter. Now, let's go to the sponsor for this video. So the sponsor for this video will be Item Herald. Item Herald is a newer third-party CSGO slash TF2 slash Dota marketplace and is one of the best ones in my opinion. So you can get a lot of good deals in here with discounts from around 35% and sometimes up to 60%. It also has one of the lowest selling fees of 5% if you put itemherald.com in your Steam name. So Item Herald uses peer-to-peer -peer trading, so that means that there will be no 7-day trade hold if you want to buy an item in here. So it actually is like Puff, but a lot easier for people outside of China because you can use crypto as a payment method in here. Also unlike Buff, it doesn't require your Steam API key, and as we know, API scams are very prevalent right now, so using Item Herald will be a lot safer. So in total, it is a great site, so if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. That is all guys and thank you for your time. So with that out of the way, let's go to the first trade up. So first trade up, we will be doing a Spec Horizon trade up. And we will be using 6 field tested Horizon skins for 10 cents each and 4 minimal wear danger zone skins for 9 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0.14. So to achieve this, I recommend using field tested skins with floats less than 0.185 and minimal wear danger zone skins with floats less than 0.08. So keep in mind that if you find the floats for this trade up a little bit too hard, you can use 5 minimal wear and 5 field tested skins instead, as that will make your life a lot easier. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to 96 dollar cents or 81 euro cents. For the outcomes, this will be a risky trade up. So the only profit outcomes will be the USP, which will be a 20 cents profit, and the OPPO, which will be a 3 dollar profit. The rest of the outcomes will be losing 7 cents to as much as 40 cents, but the profits will outweigh the negatives for this trade up. So the return of the trade up will add up to 18.75% and you'll get 18 cents each time you do this trade up. So overall, a really good and spammable trade up for everyone with a low steam balance. Unfortunately, my tries for this trade up did not go so well, so let's just move on to the next trade up. For the second trade up, we will be doing an industrial grade safe house trade up. So for this trade up, we will be using 7 minimal wear safe house skins for 6 cents each and 3 field tested safe house skins for 4 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0.1166. So to achieve this, I recommend using minimal wear skins with floats less than 0.085 and field tested safe house skins with floats less than 0.19. So as you can see here, the inputs for this trade up is super easy to get as I saw maybe 50 to 100 inputs that have floats fit for this trade up. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to 54 dollar cents or 46 euro cents. For the outcomes, this will be a very simple trade up. So we will have a one third chance to get the acid fade which will be a 25 cents profit. Then we will have a 66% chance to lose 3 cents with a FAMAS teardown and the 5-7 silver quartz. So the return of the trade up will add up to 9.26% and you will get 5 cents each time you do this trade up. So overall, a super cheap trade up that I recommend for the people with a low steam balance that don't want to spend time on floats and don't want any risky trade ups. So for the third trade up, we will be doing a most spec chroma tree trade up. So we will be using 7 field tested chroma tree skins and 3 minimal wear breakout skins. So for the field tested skins, you can use the Atlas, the Orange Crash, the Oceanic, and the Ventilators, and you can get them for 7 cents each. And for the breakout skins, you can use the Ivory, the Labyrinth, and Desert Strike, and you can get them for 9 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0.15. So to achieve this, I recommend using field tested skins with floats less than 0.185 and minimal wear breakout skins with floats less than 0.085. So keep in mind that these skins will be very easy to get, so make sure to try this one out. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to 76 dollar cents or 64 euro cents. For the outcomes, even though we only have 36% chance to profit here, 
This is a very safe trade up as the losses for this trade up is just very small. And you will have a 15% chance to double your money with the SG Ghost Crusader. So the return of the trade up will be 11.84% and you will be getting 9 cents each time you do this trade up. So overall, another safe trade up that I highly recommend to people who don't want to lose that much money. So this next trade up will easily be the best trade up among them all. So this will be a very cheap industrial grade Italy trade up and we will be using 10 field tested Italy skins for 4 cents each. So for this trade up, you can use the Calicamo, the Gunsmoke, the Stained and the Granite Marbleized and you can get them for 4 cents each. So you need to keep the average float below 0.233 for this trade up so that should be very straightforward. But the reason that this trade up is so good is because that the skins for this trade up will be very easy to get as you can see here so it will almost be like free money. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to 40 dollar cents or 33 euro cents. For the outcomes we will be getting a 33% chance to get the get the apple which will be a 22 cents profit. Then we will have a 33% chance to get the anodized navy which will be a 10 cents profit and the sawed off full stop with a 10 cents loss. So the return of the trade up will add up to 17.5% and you'll be getting 14 cents each time you do this trade up. So overall, I highly recommend you guys to spam this trade up since it really is too good to be true. So for the last one, we will be doing the bonus trade up. So this will be a stat track restricted clutch trade up and you'll be using 10 stat track minimal wear clutch skins. So for this trade up, you can use the Arctic Wolf, the Lionfish, the Wild Six, and the Swag Seven, and you can get them for one dollar and sixty-four cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than zero point one zero nine. So this should be again be very straightforward. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to sixteen dollars and forty cents, or thirteen euros and eighty cents. For the outcomes, this will be a very simple trade up and you will have a 67% chance to get more than $2 with the AWP Mortis and the USP Cortex. Then, you will have a one-third chance to lose around $1, but the profits will outweigh the negatives for this trade-up. So the return of the trade-up will add up to 7.26% and you will be getting $1.19 each time you do this trade-up. So this trade-up is very good as the floats are pretty easy to get. But hopefully, you guys are more lucky than me since I got the AUG here. Anyway, that is all for today. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, if you want to see the best trade-ups for every price range, make sure to check out this video. Otherwise, this is Alsu and peace out.